The last time you watched an automobile commercial, the car you saw on the screen might have actually been this. Introducing the Mill Blackbird from British technological arts company The Mill. Until recently, automotive content such as TV commercials has often been dictated or hampered by car availability, model revisions, limited access to locations, and more. No longer. This mind-blowing machine is able to virtually transform to match the exact design, dimensions, and driving characteristics of almost any car. The Blackbird's AR application overlays the intended vehicle right over the frame, providing a realistic representation of the actual car. Electrically powered with its camera array and tailor-made stabilization unit, this shapeshifter can capture unreal video footage and comprehensive data. Like its namesake, the legendary SR71 Blackbird, the Mill Blackbird represents game-changing technology. In many commercial, industrial, and emergency environments, moving heavy weights can be a huge challenge. Sarcos, creators of the Exos 2 exoskeleton previously featured on Freeze HD, have created this heavy-duty lifter, the Guardian GT Big Arm. Built on technologies developed to augment the strength of the operator, the GT Big Arm is a single or dual-armed human-controlled robot mounted on an agile tracked vehicle base. In dual-arm mode, it can lift up to 400 pounds with minimum effort, maximizing productivity while removing multiple personnel from harm's way. Each arm can reach objects up to 4 feet. The robotic arms move according to the operator's arm movements and allow the operator to feel a scaled-down version of the actual forces exerted. From loading and unloading supplies to shipbuilding, disaster recovery, and industrial maintenance, the GT Big Arm can do it all. Boston Dynamics believes that if you can't teach an old dog new tricks, just build a new dog. And they did. First, they developed Spot, an unbelievable 160-pound electrically-powered hydraulic four-legged robot that moved like a large dog. Now they've introduced an even more insane robot, Spot Mini. Unlike its big brother, Spot Mini is totally electric, using no hydraulics. Weighing only 65 pounds, this robotic canine is small enough to maneuver around a standard furnished home. Its 3D printed legs allow it to duck beneath tables and climb steps, just like the family pet. Handy around the house, Spot Mini's arm and face attachment can load the dishwasher and throw away trash. Should it be knocked over, the arm deploys to stand Spot Mini back up. It can even bring you a beverage, though it might not want to let it go. Spot Mini's possible future applications include assisting the disabled, disaster relief, and search and rescue. Check out the M60 Armored Vehicle Launch Bridge, a 51-ton mobile bridge in use today by the U.S. Army and Marines. Developed by General Dynamics and introduced in 1987, this mega machine is designed to launch a bridge for tanks and wheeled combat vehicles across trenches and water obstacles in combat situations. Though the turret has been removed and replaced with a bridge launching system, the chassis of the M60 AVLB is almost identical to that of the M60 A1 main battle tank. In fact, some retired M60s were converted to AVLB. VLBs. The massive aluminum bridge attachment, which weighs over 1.4 tons alone, can be stretched out to a span of over 60 feet. Carried, folded, and launched over the front of the vehicle hydraulically, the bridge is unfolded, lowered into place, and detached from the tank. The entire launching procedure takes only three minutes. The mighty M60 AVLB is a hardcore machine with a can-do attitude. Although humans have been making roads out of bricks for thousands of years, the process is still backbreaking, expensive, and time-consuming. Well, not anymore. Get ready for the Road Printer from RP Systems. This completely insane machine actually prints out a perfectly made brick road right before your eyes. Workers simply load the bricks into the road printer in whatever pattern is called for, and out comes a complete, perfectly formed road. As long as the machine is kept moving and is fed more bricks, the finished road slowly slides out of the other side down a ramp to rest on the ground. The printed road even includes the edging stones. Once the ground beneath is prepped and leveled, the road printer can go to work. Now RP Systems has developed a lighter, all-electric version called the Eco Printer. Equally capable in most respects, the Eco Printer runs on lithium-ion batteries and is completely emission-free. Hmm, I wonder if they do driveways.
This is the largest aircraft currently flying in the world. Check out the Airlander 10 from Britain's Hybrid Air Vehicles, a totally new breed of hyper-efficient aircraft. The Airlander 10 combines the best characteristics of fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters with lighter-than-air technology. This incredible craft is able to stay airborne for up to five days at a time when manned, and over two weeks when unmanned. Its extended flight time is perfect for surveillance, communication, search and survey tasks, as well as the transport of heavy goods without the need for expensive airport infrastructure. The signature hull design maintains its shape from the interior helium pressure and its strong Vectran material. The remainder of the craft is made from carbon composites for strength and weight savings. The Airlander 10's vectored thrust is used for takeoff and steering and requires little energy due to the craft's buoyant lift. All this makes the amazing Airlander 10 ideal for both the military and commercial sector. Orchard owners sometimes face huge labor costs at harvest time. After all, someone has to pick all that fruit, right? Not necessarily. With a Monkhoff tree shaker, harvest time could be like a bowl of cherries. This mean machine can literally shake the fruit right out of cherry, apple, or pear trees in far less time and at less expense than human pickers. An orchard owner's bottom line depends on getting as much fruit harvested as quickly as possible. To meet that end, the Monkhoff machine has been constructed to comply with the increasingly greater demand for machines with a high picking performance. The machine is available in two versions. The semi-automatic model simplifies and speeds up harvesting by shaking out the fruit in mere minutes. The fully automatic version sheeted trailer catches the fruit and rolls it into a conveyor for easy collection, easily paying for itself in time and money saved. The Monkhoff tree shaker definitely earns its keep. Before the invention of trenching machines, digging trenches involved backbreaking manual labor. As machinery came into use, the job became much easier. Check out this mega monster, the BRAC T26 Disc Trencher. One of the most insanely powerful machines of its kind, the T26 can handle even the most difficult terrain, even if littered with rocks or concrete. Attached to a large prime mover machine such as a dual-track vehicle, its articulated design makes the T26 extremely versatile and maneuverable in the field. Performing a process of terrain disruption known as scarification, the T26 gives plants and seeds the best possible start for growth and survival. With hydraulic load-sensing valves connected to the prime mover, stumps, stones, and other debris present no problem for the T26's powerful rotating discs. For ground preparation, the mighty T26 rules the earth. Behold the mighty Megabot MK2! Weighing in at a massive 12,000 pounds, this metallic monster stands a full 15 feet tall. Operated by an onboard pilot, Megabot can fire cannonball-sized balls at speeds of over 130 miles per hour. Megabot rolls on two tank-style tracks and employs hydraulic engineering to manipulate its weapons and throw thunderous metallic punches. Created in 2015 by a US-based team, Megabot was built as the first of many future robots. With epic battles between them held in large arenas. Though there is still only one Megabot, Japan has its own giant piloted robot, Kiratas. Itching for a fight, the Megabot team challenged Kiratas to a fight to the finish, and the challenge was accepted. A real-life rumble between the world's two giant operational superbots is on. Two machines enter, one machine leaves. In the end, there can be only one. We'll keep you posted. Behold the beast! This is the TBM, or Tunnel Boring Machine, a colossal mega machine that eats limestone for breakfast and dines on granite for dinner. A far cry from early tunneling methods, these marvels of modern technology use giant rotating steel-cutting wheels to break and loosen rock. A massive corkscrew carries the debris up to a conveyor system for removal. To keep the tunnel stable, many TBNs create the tunnel wall, or shield, as they move forward. Hydraulic systems place individual segments in place to create complete ring sections. As they are created, the TBN pushes against each new section to assist with forward momentum. Creating tunnels up to two stories tall, TBNs can be dimensionally monstrous. These machines can be longer than 120 meters long, which is as long as two A380s combined. Capable of tunneling between 90 and 100 meters per week, TBNs are creating new routes for tomorrow's transportation.
We hope you enjoyed checking out all these mighty machines. Which ones did you think are the most insane? Tell us in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to Freeze HD for all of our other awesome videos. Thanks for watching.